What? What? I just loaded in and I was like, what on earth am I going to do today? I already know. We have trial chambers in the breeze. What is this? Why is there trail ruins showing here? Maybe it's fixes to that, I'm assuming. Maybe there isn't a 30 block gap in between the structures. <laughs> Armadillos and wolf armor. Oh my god, let's get started. Although I should probably back up my world first, because I've done a lot. It is good to be back home. I need a silk touch book. Oh. Oh wait. You don't go in those anymore. Here's one. Why is that still there? <laughs> uh, we're gonna call it Animos, which is, I believe, Greek for wind. Because, I don't know, I like tying the names of my stuff to remind me of things. And hopefully today we can meet a breeze. But first of all, we have a little cute friend to find. So all I know about the trial chambers is they can only be found in Deep Slate in any location. So they're going to be a little bit difficult to find. I honestly probably shouldn't be looking for them because they're not 100% complete yet. We're in experimental features, but I want to find one. So uh, supposedly uh, armadillos can spawn here. Just get out the telescope. Is that one? It's a sheep. Is that one? It's a llama. What's that? Baby sheep. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at it. What the heck? That is so weird to see in Minecraft. Should have been the crab. But I am okay with this. I need tools. So, but I guess it's the brush, right? Oh my god, he's gonna roll into a ball. Hey. <gasps> he did. I think they're like spider eyes, right? Hi, buddy. Can I brush you? Whoa! Oh, look at that. That was cool. I wonder how many you need. How many can I, how, can I keep? <gasps> uh, what? What that? Wait! Can you just get an infinite amount? That seems a little odd. Stay here, buddy. You still there? Can you literally get an infinite amount? Wow. But it really hurts your brush. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Wow, that's crazy. You can just get an infinite amount. Sorry. Okay, back home we go. I meant to keep the first one and put it up in the museum as our first armadillo scoot, but I didn't expect it to just keep plopping out like that. Um, wow, there it is. Take six of them. Wolf armor. Whoa. Wait, I didn't even realize. Does that mean wolves now have an interface? No. Okay, so once you put it on them, you can't take it off. I could put the wolf armor as our first wolf armor, but now there's a lot of stuff in the trial chambers we can take back to put in the museum. I find that really odd that they chose to have an infinite amount for the armadillo, but it just destroys your brush fast. Why not do it the opposite way, where it just takes a tiny bit of durability off of your brush, but you can only do it to an armadillo like once or twice. Seems a little backwards. Um. Oh my god. I wanted it to go on Durbin. That looks pretty cool. Can you- I didn't even check. Can you dye it? I don't think you can. I wonder how many hearts it gives the dog. I like it! Still prefer the crab claw, but this is nice. All right, so that said, we've been building a lot lately. I do not mind making this an adventure episode. Uh, you can go in there for now. So, um, I'm gonna try to reach some lands I have not explored in a while, or at all, and I guess head down to Deep Slate. I think I have everything I need. Got storage. Well, that's just about cute. And I forgot to bring more brushes, so I can't even collect these. What are you gonna do? Okay, wow. I thought I traveled really far already, and I just saw this. This is weird. All the snow's melting around here. There's an igloo here. I wonder what that leads to. I want to know. Why would I have done that? Well, now I'm curious. I'm going to find out. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Huh. Okay, I was just exploring random caves. I am getting very sidetracked. Okay, I just found a temple, which is good news, actually, because it has this stuff. Ow. And you need that to make brushes. <gasps> Ooh, I'm breaking book. Oh wait, no you don't. They changed it to feathers. Son of a... Get another unbreaking book. Things are looking good now. Kind of want to look up how rare these things are. I got a feeling I ain't gonna get too lucky. I couldn't find crap, but that doesn't mean I'm giving up. I explored so many caves. As you can see, I got a bunch of good loot. Um, but I don't know. It said it's relatively common, but my butt 
So I'm gonna empty all this out, get new rockets, and we're gonna head in a completely opposite direction. You know what, while I'm home, uh, efficiency, do I have efficiency four anywhere? There's one, I need unbreaking three. I don't really know why I've never done this, but I've always wanted to. Please tell me you can put efficiency. Okay, good. And I'm breaking. And these are going to be my scissors. Is that how you spell scissors? I mean, how often in life do you write out the word scissors? That's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I collect cobweb a lot, and it would be nice to not have them break every 20 cobweb. Another thing I'm changing before we go. I opened the wrong chest. I had night vision. I looked in my emergency chest for night vision. I forgot I made a whole potions chest. But anyway, I still want to edit this chest. I want to put a brewing stand with some basic potion ingredients. That'll be nice. In case I run out of night vision. You know, I need some glass bottles though. What's that? Oh my god. Oh my... Oh, there's only four, but... Oh, I forgot I had a night vision box. Improved input response? What? Whoa. I can actually kind of feel it. That's crazy. But, uh, I do have some bad news. Which it blows my mind that they would even add it to this, in this state, but... Currently in Bedrock Edition, trial chambers are incredibly rare. It's like, so incredibly rare. In Java Edition, they're... they <laughs> appear too often. Can you believe that? And the loot tables aren't even finished yet, so some people are saying I shouldn't even be looking for them yet. But honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I have infinite worlds in Minecraft. I'm just gonna keep looking if I don't- Oh, look at all this diamond. If I don't end up finding it, then this will be a crazy looting episode. Because I am definitely looting. But I will not give up. Oh, that looks interesting. Hi. Go ahead. I literally just thought I found a stronghold. Those are tough. Wait, 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 wait. There's no way I just found this thing. I was literally about to go home and call it quits again. I say that, but I was probably gonna look for another hour, but I've been at this for quite a few hours now. Where's the entrance? Is this it? Oh my God, am I prepared? I don't think I am. Um, I'm gonna do that. I don't know what's in here. Is it cheating if I go, you know what? How, what's my night vision now? I just drank a potion, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my potion to go out, and I'm gonna do it properly. Alright. I am tired of waiting. I've been looking for this thing forever. Let's see what it's about. That's a tree. Oh, it's a chest! Oh! My first trial- Oh my god! Why is there so many chests? Ooh. Okay, iron gear. I'll take that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just now realized all the freaking copper in this- Oh my- It's almost- overwhelming the amount of copper in this place. How are you supposed to get up here? I definitely entered this wrong. I know there's an entrance. Why did I just hear a piston? Oh my god. Sorry for the so many- oh my god, that actually scared me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a secret entrance? I need some light up in this place. <laughs> I'm smart. Honeycomb? Heck yeah. What's this? This looks like an entrance of some sort. Whoops. Oh my god, is all of this waxed? Oh! Oh, I think it is. Yeah, look at that. Oh, sweet. Okay, so you're supposed to break it down like that. Okay, now, this is the proper entrance here. You know what this is reminding me of? The ancient dwarven ruins in Skyrim. And I absolutely love that idea. Why am I using torches? That's lame. What's that, boy? That's what sounded scary. So what is this? Oh! Oh, is this- is this a little shortcut? I think it is. <laughs> I've made a mistake. I'm setting my spawn at the entrance. Light this place up! Where do you guys keep coming from? Ow! There's silverfish in here? What's this? <gasps> what? Interesting. <laughs> I'm taking it all. What is that sound? Oh my god. Are those the things? Um, so how do you battle this? You just do this? I'm assuming so. Yeah, I built a whole training course for this. I know what to do. How perfect is the timing that we just made that training course? I just got a key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, these are popping out. <gasps> oh my god, I know what these things are. 
These are the vaults. And I didn't even catch that. I got a key. <gasps> Yo, that key looks sick. That's definitely going in the museum. You know what I love about these as well is we could use this for actual like locked doors in a way. These are very interesting. I wish you could pick one up and take it home. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh, they're actually using these for loot now. That's awesome. I don't like this. Ooh, that is a great use for grates. It actually looks scary back there. I'm taking these. Oh my god, it's all waxed. All of this is waxed? Holy smokes. Everything's waxed. You gotta be kidding me. It's multiple levels. Ah! What the heck? What's that sound? Uh-oh. Oh. It's another one. Oh, another key. But what are the keys for? Does this unlock this again? Gimme. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Bamboo? Look at all this great. I'm taking it right now. What else are you gonna throw at me, huh? I've been playing Minecraft for years. I am ready. Oh, I love the... Did you know how cool this would be to live in here? Honestly, you could turn this into one of the coolest bases. Look at this room. Oh. Dispensers. Arrows. What? Fire charge? Water bucket. Snowballs. A little confused. God, what the heck was that? Oh, ah. What? Ah. Is that you? Is that the man? Why is he invisible? Ow, ow. What? Is he invisible? Oh, I killed him. Why was he invisible? Oh, there's another one. Bring it on. Where'd you go? I'm fighting invisible breezes. I don't know if this is a bug or what. Okay, it was a bug of some sort. Did I get another key? Yes, I love keys. Um, I'm assuming that was the final boss of this chamber, right? What's back here? Nothing? Huh, interesting. Um, okay, so all trial chambers will be different. I know that. Was he supposed to be able to activate these buttons with his wind charges or something? Oh, he did, didn't he? All I know now is I got a lot of copper to collect. What I find interesting about this is, is now that these are going to be a thing and they come waxed as well, I am never going to mine for copper ore again. Isn't that kind of strange? I'm clearing out some of this copper and then I noticed up here there's a dark room. And it's just a little inaccessible room. Oh, well, supposedly, look, there's beds. <laughs> People slept here and there's baked potatoes. This is reminding me of Dwarven Ruin so much and I love it. Okay, this was just cut off somehow. Maybe it was meant to harvest because I just broke a light here and it revealed a door of a tiny little bedroom. What? Ooh. Oh, I think I found another breeze room, but this part is just one long strip, as you can see, three blocks wide. And I guess it got glitched out, which really sucks. I'm probably missing out on a big section. But then again, these things aren't fully introduced, so this is what I get for. Oh, wait. <gasps> ah! What? Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. As you can see, I've gathered a lot. He's going to be mad that I'm stealing his home. Oh, this place looks like it would have been cool. Huh. Oh, I can hit him back. I can't see you. You're invisible. Gotcha. Huh. Uh. Huh. Uh. I got an ender pearl. <laughs> I'm hearing more spawn in. How? Oh, I guess after a while they reset. All right, I got like three more vault keys, but isn't... Wasn't there a block they added to the game where you use the key on it and it gives you loot? I guess that's still in development. This was a fun experience. Obviously, they still got some work to do. On well, it's under development still. This is literally just in the game for us to test. But yeah, remember, I'm not in the beta. This is experimental features. But yeah, to be honest, I kind of like them. It's exactly what I wanted added to the game, which is Skyrim inspired like dungeons where you work your way to the end to a final boss. I've been asking for this forever. I hear a camel. I always stop by these villages to collect this. 
Weed is so valuable, especially when you build with mud a lot. But I have quite the trip home and I am going to end the episode here. This was a fun little adventure episode. I need to do these every once in a while to, you know, get more loot and just take a break from the building process. But boy oh boy are we gonna build more here in the coming episodes. While I'm out here looting, today's comment question is from Jared H underscore. Hey Dallas, you should build a prison outside the city to house criminals in your city or build a secret off-site military base where you can run experiments on prisoners on behalf of SSC. Jared, we think alike because this is oddly enough, whoa, look at those trees back there, has been on my mind for so long. Uh, just a simple prison. Well, not necessarily, yeah, I guess simple, but just a prison within my city. But yeah, it would make more sense, I have been here, to go on, the, you know, the outer limits of the city. The only reason I have not attempted this yet is because I want it to be a big project. I want there to be a mastermind in there who runs the prison. No, not, I'm not talking about like the guards, like an actual prisoner, which would be one of you guys who's like the lead. Maybe set up a whole system of prisoners trying to escape. Hi, I need your bed. And this would be a great opportunity to finally try to get the piglin head because in a lot of the cells, since I liked to say piglins are the main criminals in my world, I would put piglin heads on armor stands with obviously like leather tunics and pants and boots to make it look like a lot of the prison cells are filled up with piglins. But I've been so scared to try to get the piglin heads because it's such an insanely complicated process. Ah, I missed some wheat. It's gonna take lots of building and prepping in my test world, but I think it'll be worth it. Let me guess, I've been to this one. Wait a minute, we were just in this one. Oh, I was heading the wrong way, trying to go home. Where the heck am I? Wait. I love checking these. It has some of my favorite ones. Oh, I've already got this one. And that is, arms up. Forget how nice it is to explore with ray tracing on. Mainly because I love the clouds dotted all over the place. Oh, look at this. Oh, that looks sad. I'm sure I've been to that one. I'm not checking. <laughs> Aha, some more wheat. And of course, this wouldn't be the end of a Dallas episode if I didn't thank my donors. And we got four of them. I had to put them on these pages because you guys are just insane and I was running out of room. Connor Boulette, once again. Connor, thank you so much for the support. You've been donating a lot and I can't thank you enough. Same as Zach Plant with a mighty, massive donation. Zach, my man, holy moly guacamole. I forgot where I put you, Zach. Zach plants. Wait a minute. No. I would guess you're in the Creeper Enterprise building, but I forgot. I think that's... No, that's Calyx. Oh, wait, Zach, no, you're down in the new SSC awaiting to be placed somewhere, right? That's what I'm gonna guess. Thank you so much, Zach. You're truly a kind individual. And Jared Stordahl with a big donation, too. Thank you so much, Jared. I believe that's a new name. And Isaac Jones. Thank you guys so much. Wow, this looks so blue. You guys are all some incredible people. I am going to fly home and kind of just take in the view while I'm at it. Stop and loot every once in a while. Who knows, we might even start this prison system next episode because I'm ready to start on something new and you just put it in my mind. Yeah, I really can't stop thinking about it now. This might be, yeah, we might do this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to learn a system to get creepers to the nether to get some piglins. Look at this, a beach ship. I've definitely looted this. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do a little treasure hunt. I can't see. They beached the ship and then immediately buried their treasure? Don't mind if I do. Uh, this is bedrock edition, so it might be in the sandstone. Oh, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Haha, <laughs> I found it.